What's up guys and gals, welcome back to Dead in Bermuda. My name is Splattercat, happy to have you here today as we hang out for a little while to check out the game. We are in a catastrophic death spiral right now. Our hunger is just, you know, I think we might, it's not going up that rapidly. We might have the opportunity to get out of here before we all die of starvation. But I think it's going to rely pretty heavily on us getting the fishing rod done. And I'm hoping the fishing rod is a thing that's in your camp where you can sit there and just fish for a while. And after that, we're going to work towards the pot, because right now I have plenty of medical supplies. I just don't have anything I need in order to get this done. You need 20 wood for that. I don't have 20 wood. I have 19. Shit. Okay, well, we have to finish this, like, today. If we don't finish this today, things are going to get a little bit rowdy. So I think, for example, I mean, I guess we could finish it tomorrow, maybe. Fatigue's pretty bad at the moment, though. I'm just gonna bypass. I'm gonna let people do their thing and what came next. We got the- oh, we can go hunting! So we can get a hunting bow, too. Might be worth the effort, especially if this guy's good at creepy crawling around in the jungle. It looks like we're starting to hit the things that'll fix our hunger, so maybe I may have been- I'm the kind of person that, like, I'm chicken little. The sky is falling, the sky is falling, so don't take me seriously when I'm, like, freaking out. But... We got bad rolls on our fatigue a couple, like, turns in a row, too. So, unfortunately, I haven't had much luck getting people relaxed. Hey, there's a good roll right there. Six fruit on that one. She is critically low on fatigue, though. So, I think what I'm going to do with her is let's drag her off into here. We'll put him back on gathering because he is pretty good at it. She's not good at it at all. And so, I really don't see any point in doing any of that. What does the hunting bow require, out of curiosity? Can I get to it faster than anything else? Hunting bow, 30 wood, 20 rope, ta ooh. Okay, so that one's tough to get to. So I bet the yields are better with this one, but people might get wounded while they're out hunting, whereas this one gives you less food, but you don't get wounded. I bet this allows you to trade wounds for food, I bet. Hmm, we can't cook the food yet either. This is going to be a rough run for us. I need two ropes and some wood. Damn. All right, let's get on this thing. Let's get on this thing right now, actually. I'm not going to gather up any more fruit in all honesty. I'm just going to go for it. I think I'm just going to get down in town here. Let's send in our two biggest scavengers. And we're going to go all in on wood for right now. So let's click on that thing. We'll go in on wood. And then tomorrow we'll have them go in on ropes. And hopefully that'll allow me to either make the fishing rod or one of the bows or something. Because right now, we are not doing well. We are not doing well at all. So if I choose you to craft, I think we're closer to the hunting bow. Well, I don't know. I mean, we can get the fishing rod in two turns. We can get the hunting bow in maybe five, but it seems like maybe we get better stuff for that. It takes more materials, so I would assume that at a certain point it would be a useful thing to have. I'll just do the fishing rod, whatever, we'll be okay. And then we'll just use the fish that we catch each day. We got a bunch of people that are good at fishing, so maybe that'll work out. Ileana needs to relax. Her fatigue's looking okay. Let's stop research for right now and just kind of let people chill for a bit. And no recipe. Oh, never mind. Don't do that. Hold on. What do I have over? No, I said... Oh, shit. I clicked the wrong button. My fault. Probably could have reduced depression or fatigue or something with that one, but whatever. We'll worry about it later. I do think you should get a flat... I have, I have not changed my tune about you getting a flat amount of fatigue back every night, though. You should get like 25 or something. That seems like it would take the edge off a lot of this. Gosh, he's always on my back. Sorry, clicked off screen. It doesn't lock your cursor. I assure you, it's not easy being married and all. Well, you know what I mean, right? Yeah, you know. Not the easy one either, this Julia, right? But well, at least she leaves you be. Well, at least she leaves you be. Alice can't order me, her. Alice can't help but order me around. Sometimes that's the only thing she'll say to me for the whole day. She wants me to take charge or something. Be a man, she says, but it's not my style. She should know that after all these years. We're so different. Sometimes it's scary, but. Well, I love her, of course. If one loves, one loves the whole person as he or she is, and not as one might wish them to be. Yeah. Damn right, buddy. Women, huh? So they both lag each other. I feel like Yuri is going to be probably like... Yuri seems to me to be like the most useful guy that you can have around. 
Hunger's getting kind of high. But I don't know. Pass the food around a little bit. It may not be much, but it's what we've got. So there it is. So we've got three days worth of water left. Our fire intensity is looking a little iffy, so I'll probably work on that real fast after this. I got a couple of people that need to work on their fatigue, and so her depression's pretty high, as is her hunger, as is her illness. So maybe work on healing water? That sounds alright. There we go. So she's back down to five. That should be okay. Let's put her on adventure duty then. These two gents over here are still hustling, so let's focus on rope for right now. If we can get a good roll right there, we can get the hell out of here like right this second. Fix it on up. I'm going to put that in there for right now. How many wood did I need for the fishing pole? It's 25, wasn't it? Oh, I needed 20. Okay, so we're good right there. We only need two rope to get this done, so assuming we don't catastrophically fail and get one rope, we should be okay. So that's looking good. That's looking good. These three just need to chill for a little bit and get themselves all nice and gassed out. Perhaps it might not be the worst idea to have her be productive over here and just grab whatever fruit she can along the way while we wait. For her, I'm just going to have her explore wherever she wants to go. Hopefully we'll find a fishing spot or something and I can send somebody out that knows how to fish. And then Big Dog over here, maybe put him on harvesting too. It's not much, but it'll get us to 2 to 5, so whatever. And now we just have to cross our fingers and pray and hope to the gods of RNG we don't get one rope out of this. If we get one rope, we are just boned. Not any worse than we already were, but, you know, the bonage. There, you got three fruit out of there, so that'll help out a little bit. Depending on what happens with this rope, I'll decide. Okay, so we got four rope out. We might be able to supplement our diet now. So there's six. They're good right there. She's going to go off and venture all by her lonesome exploration skill going up. She found 06, which is going to give us a new area that we can look at, hopefully with a mineable node. And by mineable, I mean something that we can get out of there. We can scavenge wood, we can play fake pirate, we can hide the booty, or we can inspect it. A wooden chest is floating peacefully on the water. It looks very old. You wonder if there's a sunken ship somewhere near. That would mean that you were not the only ones to have crashed on the island and that this has been going on for a long time. I don't know what I should do with that. Scavenging the wood seems like a pretty good idea, but searching it first seems like a good idea as well. I don't know. Julia, it's your job. I mean, hey, jump on out there. I would love for her to have, like, better scavenging skills, but the truth of the matter is that she just doesn't. Nobody really does, in all fairness. We're all so tired and exhausted at this point that we're doing every job shitty, so... I let's get somebody I'm gonna go back to camp real fast let's get somebody out here working on something so he's pretty decent at crafting or that's not what I wanted so you got a 44 over there he should be just about petered out hopefully but this is more important than being rested so we've got the fishing rod let's make it let's do this thing we're at 1.46 so we can get that done and we can get two or three fish a day that'll give us like 20 percent off people that we can just like consistently get one person's hunger wiped out and then just use sickness pills on them we probably want to give that to whoever's good at fishing too where's alejandro at alejandro 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 take that right there it's the best for you because he's the jack of all trades anyways and so the only item that's truly useful for him is an item that gives him like one to everything because it makes him a better jack of all trades like it or not, paradoxically, you can specialize in being a jack-of-all-trades if you really focus on it. She has leveled, and so that gives her 11 skill points to play around with. In her situation, I think that the 11 points would best be used... You can go for harvesting. In general, she's pretty good at discussion, though. But I don't know if that helps the other person in the conversation, too. That's the part that I'm a little bit concerned about. If you have better constitution, you nap better, too, which I wasn't aware of. So there are things in here that perhaps I had not considered properly. Hmm. Well, I would hope that... Her medicine skill, not really that useful. 
The knowledge skill is pretty much evened out right now to where she researches an average amount. Maybe... I mean, I could put her on harvesting and get her up to 50 so that she gets better at finding fruit around. So that we can use her as a fill-in person when nobody else can do it. Maybe I'll do that for a little while. I don't know. I'm kind of spreading points around oddly right now, but I'm hoping it works out for us. See, that didn't give us any tangible benefit right there. If you drop a whole level into something, it should at least increase the lower and upper bounds a little bit. I mean, that's an entire level's worth of points and you get nothing out of it? It's kind of brutal. I will more than likely have you, sir, rest for a bit. Get yourself all nice and tucked in here. You work on whatever it is you're going to work on for right now. I just need to have more wood. That's all that I care about at the moment. How much wood can I pack? How much wood could a splatter cat pack if a splatter cat could pack wood? Eh, close enough. Kind of works. Julia. You know, I'm really... Go ahead, Julia. Do your thing. Monster attack. Failed the skill check. Unfortunate. The island seems to be pretty dangerous. You thoroughly search the chest and hope for some pirate treasure. Got two smelly cheeses. Okay, well we can hide the booty. I don't know why you would do that. Does playing fake pirate make somebody happier? It helps with depression. That's amazing. That's my favorite thing ever. We can go play pirate. Probably trades depression. It's probably the opposite of the couch. It trades depression for fatigue. If your depression's getting out of control. Or we can just scavenge the wood, which I think is probably the best way to go with all this. Yeah, I'll send him out. He's gonna fail the skill. Hey! Well, never mind then. What do you know? He got better. We got four wood out of it and one nail. That's not bad. I mean, they're kind of hard to come by, so I'm not gonna cry about it. Those actions appear to no longer be free. That must be because they're outside of one day's walk. You two gentlemen, how is this going over here? Like, where is that at? It's at 0%. I must have never clicked on the thingy then. My bad. Well, that allowed us to double harvest wood for the day. I mean, that's not too terrible. We could use a lot more wood, so take from that what you will. The campfire, unfortunately, it needs stoking. So there it is. Let's continue. Please tell me this is going to take them like five days to get done. Oh, it's going to take a couple days. We might not make it. We might just be too close to the edge, I think. I don't care if they fight at all, just get the job done. They fought while sleeping somehow. It's a pretty amazing feat. She got three fruit that time. Fatigue's looking a little bit high. On this side, he managed to pull out a couple of wood. Three. Sorry, I clicked on accident. And she's going to keep exploring and just kind of like seeing what we could find around. It's really our only hope at this point is that we get a random node that allows us to feed properly. Psst, here, take this. I heard your stomach grumping. I have some food in my personal reserve in case of emergency. You can have one and say nothing about it. It's our secret. Hey, hooray, we got a good event. That makes me happy. Hunger's getting pretty critical on some people, though. Let's go all in on stopping anybody that's critical right now from going over the edge. Because that's about the best we can do, and it's going to be another day or two before we can get this job done, too. That's the big sort of problematic thing here. We got two days worth of water left. Everything else looks okay, but... Eh, kind of treading water right now. We survived two weeks. I mean, in a survival environment with, like, 30 people, surviving two weeks is actually pretty impressive, because... It kind of, like, actually, it's easier to survive in groups of two and three than it is with larger groups, because people don't tend to work together very well. Today... We got a lot of people that need to work on their fatigue. She's done, so I guess we'll just put her back on research like she should be. Do I have any items I can use on this side to make them like better at all this stuff? Got a smelly cheese, but it gives you sickness. Hell, I'll take it. Let's go. He can get sick all he wants. I don't even care. I need these guys hunger to be down so that they're no longer like failing at creating what they're creating right now. So there you go guys. That'll make them a little bit more efficient. That'll bring them up slightly because it looks at your fatigue versus your hunger for how good you are at doing tasks. 
One of these guys got to be pretty decent at... Let's see here. Who's good at fishing? I know he's like... He's got 67 fishing. That would give him 72, which would make him really, really good at it. How good are you at fishing? He's got 55. I think the fishing might be what we want to lean towards right now. Kind of just lean into it. Right now, I'm going to have him work on getting the supplies together for the cook pot. Because it's really our only real choice right now. Although, I might have him relax for right now. And then her fatigue is looking good, too. So, we're going to bring her back to harvest so we can keep taking edges off of things. Yuri, get back out here. And I'm going to say to gather, just keep gathering wood, I guess. Focus on wood for right now. It's going to take a long time at that rate to get anything done. But did she finish off another location here? Oh, she's still midway. Okay. Those cheeses may have bought us off for a little while. They may have bought us some time. So he's resting. I know we have other people that need to rest, though. So let's get her rested. Her fatigue is actually not so bad as I thought it was. It might be worth it. What would that do to her gather? It would give us four to nine. You know what? I'm going to focus on it. I'm just going to do it. Let's get on it. There it is. So we might be able to get this. Uh, it's going to be close. It's going to be really close. We might be able to get this on the next turn. If we can, that'll be our buyout. That'll be the way that we get the hell up out of here. Fatigue is down slightly. Fatigue is down slightly. But they enjoy each other's company, so that's a benefit you might not have leaned into. So there you go. Good things happening. Big roll. Yeah, not yeah, there it is. That's what I like to see. All right. I love gambling, by the way. I don't know if you guys have realized that just yet. I get mad when I lose, and I'm stoked when I win because I'm a shitty person like that. I hate to tell you. We all have personal flaws. Don't hate. And since I'm constantly using him for scavenging ops, I figure we might as well leave it there. So let's just keep making him better at scavenging. He's still taking nerfs right now to all of his scavenging. So, let's keep him working on it. That didn't move our goalposts around a whole lot, but they're doing a great job on this side, so whatever. Do your thing. Do your thing. Keep gathering everything you possibly can. Everybody else should be pretty much where they need to be for right now. How much fruit do I have, by the way? Three. Ugh, we may have to go hungry tonight. I'm just going to convert them into water. And then I'm going to have Alejandro take one for the team, and hopefully we get a lot of fruit right now. Come on, finish it. We got 34. Ah! We got 34 last time, but the fatigue is too much. We just can't make it. I'm going to have to have somebody that doesn't know how to craft finish it then. That's all that I can do tomorrow. We have to get that done. I was hoping we get it done today. That moves the goalpost pretty considerably, so it's a problem. Five fruit from right there. I was hoping we get the nine out. But maybe with the five fruit we have, I can keep people balanced off. She leveled up again. We got five wood right there. Not the best roll, but 14 in a day isn't terrible. Having marital issues, apparently. You look so sad, my dear. You can talk to me, you know. Tell me what you feel. I'm sure we can find a way out of here. Okay, so that's good. He had depression going on, so that'll help. We got a bunch of people getting ready to fit and to die, though, off food, so... Yikes. Uh, we gotta keep them evened out for right now. We really have no choice. I think the fishing pole should be higher up the chain, and so should the cooking pot, actually. I think as part of the tutorial, you should finish this stuff right here, and then you should get some more resources to get the other things done, because as of right now, we've harvested everything we've found out in the wilderness, and still have come up pretty wanting. I can let them finish it right now, but that won't leave anybody to go fishing when it's done. Depression is getting kind of critical right now, too. You know, I'm just going to bring in people that don't have any chance of getting it done. What is this at right now? It's at 86. It's a tough call. Which of you is closer? You know, Bob, I'm going to have you stick it out here. 
I may have something that'll fix this up, possibly, but... You take 10% injury for 20% fatigue. Yeah, go ahead. His depression isn't too bad. I think I can fix that right there. And then for your skills, dear sir. I'm going to have you stick with fishing because I could put crafting in right now because I'm in a panic and a huff. But fishing is what we're really going to need out of here by the time he gets done. And so hopefully that just finishes. And then next turn we'll bring him out and we'll have him fish for a little bit. And maybe that'll help him get it done. On this side, Alejandro. I don't know what to do with him right now because he's also kind of in a weird spot. I would say just to keep him harvesting, like make him better at it. See if we can get better yields out of this thing. And then for her... I guess I could go minus 10 to all states on the people that are really, really close. Like, people that are on the edge, but I don't know. Let me think about it. I'm going to ponder it for a couple of minutes. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Dead in Bermuda. Shit is about to get real. We're trying to sort this one out, and we're going to be coasting with illness and whatnot in the next couple episodes because we're going to be eating raw fish because the game will let you fry things over fire. I mean, it's not hard to stake something on a stick and just hold it over the fire until it's cooked, but you can't do that. I prefer to see something added to the game along the lines of like rough cooking, which would only make it, it would make it lose efficiency in terms of the food, but it would remove the sickness. And then once you get the good pot, it removes the sickness and makes it even better for eating, you know, but I don't know. Either way, I'll see you guys next episode.